Not radical enough for you? It's radical enough. That's death. But it's also perfect. We have to do this. Yeah! I was drawn to Point Break because I'm a big fan of the original film and a chance to create a new version of that film and also to expand it in terms of the scale. The collaborators on this project are the actual athletes. Xavier Delarue doing snowboarding and Chris Sharma rock climbing and Led Hamilton and surfing and Jeb Corliss coordinating all the wingsuiting. They are the best people in the world doing it. And these sports aren't just sports, they're very, very dangerous things to do. It's actually quite frightening to know that they're putting their lives on the line for this movie. Our version of Point Break is gonna be a much larger scale project, both in terms of the sport and scale of the movie. Utah fell into the world of extreme sports and he kind of had this death wish for the most of his life before he was an FBI agent. I believe that like me, the people behind the robberies are extreme athletes. Give me something. What kind of people are we dealing with here? definitely keeps elements from the first one, which is an amazing movie and a movie that has inspired us. So the real question is, what are you? What he's trying to figure out is what lies beyond the thrill, what lies behind the line. It's not about conquering the geological forces of the Earth. It's more about becoming one with the Earth. Cody sees a bit of his younger self in Utah and this kind of wayward soul that has a lot of skill. You ever surf anything like this? I surf. You ever surf anything like this? My name's Laird Hamilton and I'm known as a big wave rider. Are you ready? Let's go. The new point break, they're really trying to capture something real and make you feel it. I was involved in the making of the original Point Break, and I think the film has stood the test of time because it captures the spirit of what a surfer is. That was insane. I'm Chris Sharma, I'm a rock climber. The whole area of the Tepuis in this part of Venezuela, Angel Falls, it's the most incredible place I've ever been in my life. I think it really is like the perfect location to make some really cool climbing footage. Erickson's really committed to keeping it really authentic. Ah. Seeding the film with real live athletes, it does give a, a level of authenticity to the whole film, and I think that's definitely gonna come through in our climbing scenes. My name's Jeb Corliss, and I'm technical advisor for the Wingsuit Flying Unit. We are in a place called Wallenstad, Switzerland. It may be the greatest wingsuit proximity flight on Earth. It has an incredible train system where there's actual a cliff with a crack that runs through it that you can then fly into the crack, fly underground. It's a very unique location that's incredibly beautiful. Let's do this. This is an incredibly complicated wingsuit sequence. Go. We have a whole team of guys. We've got four characters, and then you have to have a cameraman who's following them, so you're looking at five people in close, tight formation, flying into a very narrow gorge that slices through a mountain. The first time I watched those five guys enter that crack, I was like, it was one of the most spectacular things I've ever, I've ever witnessed. My whole life has been flying wingsuits. It's been everything to me since I was 16 years old. These are the greatest wingsuit pilots who have ever lived. I'm here because I need to find out who I am, where I belong. We can only be responsible for our own path, brother. Such a huge scale movie in so many countries, so many extreme sports, incredible action. When you're making a movie that has a cult following, you're gonna have to do it justice. And I think when this hits the big screen, I think people are gonna sit back and go, Wow.